Question, how much better does a good indoor mic sound from a good shotgun mic when recording indoors? Is it worth investing in two mics? For the past year, I've been thinking about this question a lot and wondering if there's a mic better suited for indoor dialogue recording than my much loved Sennheiser 416. Don't get me wrong, my 416 is a great sounding workhorse of a mic that I use whenever lav mics will just capture too much from a noisy environment. A good shotgun mic will really focus on the presenter's voice by canceling out other sounds coming from the side and back of the mic. But indoors, I sometimes hear some coloration in the sound from the reverberation of the presenter's voice. In addition to eliminating this color, I wanted a mic with a great sound and characteristics that are very similar to my 416 so that I can switch between mics without needing to EQ them separately in post. After a lot of research and talking with a few location sound pros, I kept hearing about the Sennheiser MKH-50 as a solid professional quality option. This mic is often affectionately referred to them as just the 50. So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and comparison of the Sennheiser MKH-50 as an indoor small diaphragm condenser mic with my legendary Sennheiser MKH-416. So let's dive in and have a look at what comes in the box with the 50. Like the 416, the 50 comes in a nice hard case that should offer good protection for the mic and its accessories. Opening up the case, you can see you've got a short windscreen that's shorter than the one that comes with the 416. A standard mic clip. And this interestingly shaped shock mount designed specifically for the unique contours of the 50. Now, I love that it comes with a shock mount. This shock mount feels very sturdy and should stand up to daily use. And lastly, you've got the microphone. Having a look at the microphone itself, you'll notice that it has a minus 10 dB pad switch, as well as a high pass filter switch to help reduce proximity effect when the mic is used close to the presenter. I've also heard that it's really helpful for reducing handling noise when using the 50 on a boom pole. The finish is classic Sennheiser, some kind of black anodized metal that just feels solid and as well built as the 416. This is a small diaphragm condenser mic with a super cardioid pickup pattern to help project sound from the sides and the back. And like most professional mics at this level, it requires 48 volts of fan to power to be supplied externally by either your camera or your recorder. And it connects to your camera recorder with a standard balanced XLR cable. So now that we've seen what's in the box, let's hear how the 50 sounds beside the 416, which is what I've been using to record this video so far. For comparison, I've mounted the 50 next to the 416 on my boom, connected to my trusty Zoom F8 and mixer, and I've set the input gain to 40 dB for both mics so that you can hear the difference in their sensitivities. The Zoom is recording both mics without limiters or filters, and the pad and high pass filter on the 50 are both turned off. With these two mics set up, I'll record a passage from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and we can compare how they sound. I won't apply any post-processing to this audio other than to normalize both tracks. If you can, listen to these with a good pair of headphones, but I'll also put the WAV files in the description below. So here we go. On the planet Earth, man had always assumed that he was more intelligent than dolphins because he had achieved so much. The wheel, New York, wars, and so on. Whilst all the dolphins had ever done was muck about in the water having a good time. But conversely, the dolphins had always believed that they were far more intelligent than man, but for precisely the same reasons. On the planet Earth, man had always assumed that he was more intelligent than dolphins because he had achieved so much. The wheel, New York, wars, and so on. Whilst all the dolphins had ever done was muck about in the water having a good time. But conversely, the dolphins had always believed that they were far more intelligent than man, but for precisely the same reasons. So what do you think? Did I make a sound investment? Did you hear a difference between the two? I look forward to reading your comments and please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post my next video. Here's wishing you all the best in 2020. And like always, we'll see you in the next video.